So you say, if I rent a flat in Germany, I have to buy the kitchen. Yes, this is correct. What if I move out? You can take it with you. Or you can sell it to the next person. But that makes no sense. What about if I move out and rent my kitchen to the next person? That's actually a great idea. Hello, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we are again in the same room. <laughs> but soon, I can tell you, So today's video is also about my cultural shock in Germany. Damn! When I moved to Germany for the first time, I just realized that if you rent an apartment, you don't get kitchen. In Germany, in general, 90% of the flats, they don't have kitchen. Yeah, this is very crazy thing, at least for me as a Turkish person, if you buy or if you rent a flat, there is no kitchen in the flat. Or you rent a flat, there is a kitchen, but the previous renter has the kitchen. So you have to buy the kitchen. So it's like you are renting a flat, you, you are paying for deposit, and plus deposit, you have to pay the kitchen. So weird. When I moved to Germany, I started to realize this. I was like, why? I mean, why? What? The reason for that is the landlords are not obligated to fit kitchens in the apartments before they rent them out. So, but still this doesn't make any sense. Stop it. Get some help. So what you have to do if you're renting a flat, you have to either buy a kitchen for yourself or if you already have a kitchen from your previous flat, you can bring that kitchen. But... I don't think it is going to fit in your new kitchen. That's why generally the previous renter sells the kitchen. Of course, if you found a flat which has the kitchen, the rent is going to be higher. Maybe 50 or, or 100 euro, you are going to pay more rent. And that's why most of the people, they actually accept this situation because maybe they have a kitchen already and they want to carry it and then bring it and assemble it to their new kitchen or they want to buy the kitchen from the previous person. But since this is known thing, the kitchen prices are getting higher. Like I paid 700 euro for that kitchen. Unbelievable. It was nothing. It, there, everything was broken. Everything was, the, the cabinets were not properly fitting and nothing. Since they know that you need this flat and you have to buy the kitchen, they put the prices very high. And for example, if you buy a flat, it is the same thing. The kitchen is generally not included. So you have to buy completely new kitchen for your flat. However, the room intended as a kitchen must have connections for water, electricity, and possibly gas. So they don't have anything any kitchen cabinets or so but they need to of course have this um, pipe connections etc so prices are very high actually like of course you can go to ikea and you can plan your kitchen by all devices all machines from there and that's actually a good idea of course there are so many uh, kitchen planners also on the internet you can find and uh, uh, right the sizes so for example i bought a kitchen for 10,000 euro all furniture everything was included to find that kitchen i had to research a lot and go to these stores and and talk to them and uh, let them to plan a kitchen for me and according to that they give a price to you and you bargain and in the end you compare with another one that you already had so i compared different brands and different plannings and in the end i chose one which was alma unfortunately i don't have the kitchen yet it is going to be built in november i guess but i'm gonna update you guys once i have it they were really helpful and friendly even though sometimes my german was like not understandable they were so nice and so friendly and always like smiley faces and they're always helpful and that's why actually i decided to go with them like there was there was another one for example and for i i don't have to know all german words because i am not a german but i am still learning german and it depends on the topic if i if i haven't bought a kitchen how do i know 
a vert, I don't know, maybe a part of the granite workplaces. So if I don't know that word and if I don't understand it, some people they get like weirdly mad or actually not mad, but like irritated by me. <laughs> because I don't know that word. So that's why uh, with Alma, it was so cool. They were very helpful. I'm gonna write their links down below. So if you're looking for a kitchen, feel free to talk to them. They are very helpful people for, uh, to the foreigners. You can also buy the kitchen from Bowmark, OB or eBay Klein Anzeigen, as I told you guys, from some other people, but then you have to carry them and assemble them by yourself. There are so many things, guys. They, they're gonna ask you if you are pretty new about this kitchen thing. For example, for me, in the end, I was like, you know what, I don't understand, just choose one. It depends on your requirements. Like, do you want uh, A plus efficiency or Maybe you don't need an A plus efficiency. Maybe you are living alone and you need a small dishwasher. You don't need a big one. So this type of things, of course, will change the price. And maybe you already have a refrigerator, so you don't need a refrigerator. You're gonna say like, okay, I don't want refrigerator. So let's keep it excluded. And the price will, of course, reduce. For example, in Turkey, the prices are, of course, cheaper than here for example in this kitchen there are so many cabinets and everything is included and uh, the price was almost like 8000 turkish lira which is almost like 800 euro in germany this one for example was 700 euro and there was nothing inside almost nothing or for example this one one of my very best friend she bought this it is pretty new and um, but it there was no refrigerator, so refrigerator was not included, and they paid 8,000 uh, euro. And like the prices are almost like this. If you want to buy a proper uh, kitchen, I think you have to really pay like 8,000 euro or something. There was another brand, for example, and they designed something for me, and they told me that it is. 22,000 euro for the kitchen. Okay, everything is included, but for a kitchen, 22,000 euro. And then they say like, okay, there are some discounts on 16,000 euro, but still, I mean, that is a lot for me. It depends what you really want. If everything is included and you are thinking you're gonna live in that flat for a long time, I think maybe like 6,000, 8,000, 10,000, it depends. Uh, what type of, ref uh, for example, refrigerator you have. If you don't want to buy a refrigerator, then maybe a uh, limit would be like 6,000, 8,000, I guess. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video and uh, um, let me know what you think about this situation. If you want to buy a flat or if you want to rent a flat, there is no kitchen. Uh, what do you think about this? It is for me, it is really weird thing. I don't know. I would like to hear about you guys also. And uh, yeah, let me know and uh, write a comment down below and like this video and I see you guys on my next video. Ciao!